In 1903, Pittsburgh's Carnegie Hall became the scene of a six-day debate. E. L. Eaton, pastor of a Methodist Episcopal church and representing an alliance of Protestant clergymen, had one aim, to destroy Russell's influence, particularly with regard to his teachings about the condition of the dead. They really wanted to expose Russell as a man who was ignorant of the Bible and a fraud who wasn't qualified to get on a platform and, and preach about Bible subjects. And the Lord God Russell really did a very good job of presenting his arguments and establishing life, Bible truth, showing he was very qualified to deal has, with Scripture. But that man is a soul. People had a chance not only to see the contrast between the two, but had a chance to see that Bible truths were clear on many of those points. It was reported that one clergyman who had been there to support Eaton came up to Russell afterward and said, I'm glad to see you turn the hose on hell and put the fire out. The local newspaper published a full account of each debate the following day. Bravo. Bravo, Russell. Well done. So governing body. You are proud of Russell, aren't you? The leader of your congregation back in the day. Your founding president was able to debate religious leaders. And you are so proud, more than a hundred years later, you are so proud of Russell and what he did. He debated those religious leaders. He set a precedent, governing body. Can you follow in Russell's footsteps? I am challenging you to an open debate about your authenticity. I challenge you about your claim of being the faithful and discreet slave. I present you an open challenge to debate me on that subject so I can demonstrate to the world the frauds that you are. I challenge you, show the world that you are legitimate. Show Jehovah's Witnesses that what you say is true. Answer the challenge of a little young man from Jamaica who is not even a theologian. I am just an ordinary churchgoer challenging you to demonstrate that you or anyone else was appointed faithful and discreet slave in 1919. I dare you to take on the challenge and I tell you Jehovah's Witnesses, your governing body will never take on this challenge because if they ever did, they will look more stupid than you could ever imagine that they could look. I challenge them and I have posted this video on YouTube for the world to see and I will be calling Watchtower headquarters to, to make them know that I placed this challenge, that it is on YouTube, that people have seen it and I dare the governing body to respond. I am calling them so they cannot say they never saw it. Which member of the governing body bring all of them together to challenge me, to debate me on the subject of the faithful and discreet slave? The cowards dare not do it unless they want to be exposed for the frauds that they are. And I promise you, I call you a fraud but I, and you may see that as disrespectful. I give you my solemn word. I will not be disrespectful to you. I will not call you a fraud. I will treat you with the ultimate respect and we will look only on what the Bible has to say. We will look only on the arguments. There will not be one insult thrown by me. Of course, if you cannot 
answer the challenge. I submit to you it is because you are frauds. Can you answer? Can you prove to Jehovah's Witnesses that you are not frauds? Can you prove to Jehovah's Witnesses under examination that you were appointed by Jesus? Take on the attitude that Russell took on. Debate me as Russell debated those religious leaders. Can you take on the challenge? You never will. But I'd be so happy if you could surprise me and say yes. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Thank you.